News from around the region and a drought crisis and food insecurity could worsen in the months of June through to October in Kenya. A drought status report by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, EGAD, indicates that there is a high risk of worsening food shortage in parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia and Uganda if rainfall deficits occur as predicted. And as Elphas Lagarde now reports, an estimated 23.4 million people are currently food insecure in the greater horn of Africa. Weeks after farmers planted crop in Rift Valley, hardly any germination. A point at what could worsen food insecurity in Kenya. The drought effects spreading. It's not only shortage of food, but also shortage and uh, serious lack of water both for people and livestock. Governors from Laikipia, Kitui and Makweni that are currently ravaged by the present drought insist that the situation is worsening by the day. It behoves upon us as governors who stay at the grassroots with the people to really alert the country that this is a crisis that we must prepare well together. And while the government has already released 1.8 billion shillings to facilitate mitigation efforts, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, says that while Kenya has one of the best drought mitigation frameworks globally, the country ironically still lacks proper coordination in the face of acute water and food deficits. So you can have the best system in the world, but if you are not coordinated, if those who are supposed to act at the same time don't act, if those of us who are supposed to act in sequence don't act in sequence, a recipe for uh, the kind of uh, altercations you had in Kenya. Food and Agriculture Organization in conjunction with IGAD now want IGAD member states to coordinate and act swiftly to cushion citizens in the month of June to end of year where food insecurity is expected to be at its peak. <laughs> Some of IGAD's proposals include release of drought-related contingency funding, provision of nutrition supplies and support for vulnerable households, regular monitoring using remote sensing, and strengthening programs to ensure peaceful livestock migration. Alphas Lagat, Citizen TV.